They say if you faint in your time of adversity, your strength is small and that those who learn from their mistakes hold a great power of positive influence in their lives. Now come to think of it, is there anything that can be challenging or strong enough to defeat a person who has dodged bullets in a heated war front? Well, in this biotype video, we are going to be looking in retrospect at the day the current first vice president of Zimbabwe, Constantino Chiwenga, almost lost his life. On that note, hello and welcome to HOT 263. Constantino Guvea Dominic Nikadzino Chiwenga, born Constantine Guvea Chiwenga, is a Zimbabwean politician and retired army general who currently serves as the first vice president of Zimbabwe and also the vice president and second secretary of the ruling party ZANU PF. Chiwenga was born in 1956 in the Wedze district of Marshallland East Province in Zimbabwe. Together with the retired Air Chief Marshal Parent Shiri, Chiwenga was educated up to all levels at the St. Mary's Mission, after which he joined the liberation struggle to help Zimbabwe gain its independence. Chiwenga later on furthered his education, acquiring an MBA in which he was one of the best students and then a PhD in ethics from the University of KwaZulu-Natal in 2015. Chiwenga almost lost a fight for his life in 1982. At that time, the young 26-year-old Chiwenga was a student for the British Military Advisory and Training School. The school oversaw the integration of the guerrilla fighters and the Rhodesian soldiers into one unified army past independence in 1980. Chiwenga shot himself in an attempt to commit suicide after being caught cheating in a military exam, Chiwenga handed in a plagiarized essay, which was a word-for-word -word copy for a model essay given to students. His then instructor, Mr. Fritz, told the Sunday Times that, and I caught, he knew he was in trouble. The Zimbabwean army had warned that anyone caught cheating would be thrown out, and he had been caught red-handed. The next morning, Chiwenga shot himself twice in the chest and was rushed to the hospital in an intensive care unit. Luckily, he missed the heart and the lungs, which was how he miraculously survived. After that incident, Mr. Frith forgave him and he was taken back to the college and Chiwenga reformed and throughout the coming years he proved to be very diligent and disciplined. In 2013, Chiwenga became defense chief and invited Mr. Frith to his office to thank him. Mr. Frith was quoted saying, he gave me his card and said, if you ever need anything. Mr. Frith added saying, to this day, if you ask Chiwenga to remove his shirt, you will see two punches old in his chest. Well folks, that's all we had for you today. References to the primary sources of the story for those who may be interested will be in the description section below. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, be phenomenal my friends.